we're about to take off <laughs> one of those cheap airline places where you have a fan like this and they just push you in a cart. <laughs> so this is what we're about to do. All right, that's enough of that. Uh, Good morning. This is Bianca and Curtis. Yes. With our comedy video blog. Just for the people who are in this room. I said this, I said this before. I've never seen a healthy person die. So <laughs> you gotta die anyway. Uh, you so, should, uh, but first of all, you should do it for yourself. Well, if you don't feel comfortable, you have to do something about it. Uh, well, but no. not because of an image that the media is portraying or the models that are way too thin nowadays. Uh, well, listen, That's not healthy anymore either. Yeah, I don't want no skinny woman who's going to have a skinny baby. <laughs> something to hold on to, look, right? No, you can be sick people. You know, <laughs> when, you, when you're when that thing, you look unhealthy. Yeah, but that's, that's true. Yeah. But you, you know, are. Would you eat a chicken that was skinny? <laughs> you say, and no, most, no, he's and sick. most of the time, they're busy with that in their mind the whole time. Yeah. Because, oh, we have to be this size, otherwise we won't fit in uh, the clothing anymore. So basically, you're not healthy in your mind either. Yeah. And, you're and would you busy. would you eat a, a skinny cow? You say, hell no, he's sick. I'm not eating that shit. <laughs> so. <laughs> and then and then. The Nobody does this yeah. for us to be. Come on. Yeah. It makes no sense. It. You have to have a, what? Fat is what? I'm not. I'm, I'm not talking about being extreme. See, we're just talking about bikinis, and going to the beach. <laughs> Talk to the beach. Yeah. Well, but listen. This, this, Listen, I'm, I'm I'm not talking about being obese, you know. And what you have to do is that there always you should have fat in your because it's natural. You should have fat under your skin because it is a survival mechanism. Mm -hmm. When and this is because of back, you know, when we were living in caves and trees, is that we didn't eat every day, so you needed that fat <laughs> for energy. <laughs> When the lions start chasing your ass. <laughs> ah, oh my God. <laughs> you didn't have that fat, man. They say, like, you could burn out. And most animals wouldn't eat you. They just kill you. Shit, they need no fat on this. Fuck. <laughs> Got killed for nothing. <laughs> you know what it is? We have to stop letting. I, I wish I could create the concept. I wish I could actually create some sort of show or commercial that would make people um, think well, lucky, think though. think whatever I want them to think because I said it. you know it's you know, people like saying yeah my children are acting crazy because it's television the television is too violent I get the hell out of here you're probably fighting in your house so it ain't yeah, fighting in the neighborhood you think television too violent but it's how you it's how what you tell your kids if they play something I but, mean that if you teach them like it's a game and they know you, yeah, well. Well, if, if we had, if we had, you know, this is where I say people blame on television and they yeah. talk about imagery and all that other stuff. I'm sure, they and, shouldn't be behind a television the whole day because that's bad. I mean. But, but if we could make a program where we could make our children perfect kids, we would all buy it. Yeah, well, there's so, no, no. No, but that's, so if there's no product, if, if, then, if, if you can't create something like that, then you can't blame television mm -hmm. because television can't influence your child to the point to where they do where they become crazy. Because otherwise, I would use that television to make them more more um, positive and more intelligent. So that's crap. It's the same thing. You're talking about, yeah, the are of women in the magazines and on the television. And thin. Shut up. You know what I mean? You don't have to watch that crap. No, you're, Even though, you're but doing you, it. No, but you know, the thing is, is that, the thing is this. The thing is this. You should not, first of all, equate yourself by somebody, somebody else's else, uh, yardstick. Mm -hmm. You determine how you want to be and how you want to live. And if you're not happy with yourself, then make changes. Yep. And that's all up to you. And that's it. But don't be running around here like, no, I need to, need to lose weight. If you need to lose weight, lose weight. If you don't need to lose weight, and if you want to eat 50 chickens, but, but then you have to be prepared to deal and with the consequences. The consequences. Yeah. And, oh, that's what the problem is, is that we don't want to be responsible for our behavior. Mm -hmm. And this is where we get in trouble. Mm -hmm. And back to why when it was safe on beaches. <laughs> why <laughs> is it that? <clears throat> but then the other thing, too, people go, especially in the Netherlands, it's like you have, uh, you have the beaches, but, and when it's warm, first of all, all the clothes go off. 
people wearing little shorts and it's not even warm enough. And then people go to the beach like ants. Yeah, man. everybody is like walruses on a beach shore. Can you do 